doing Eureka Math, Grade 2, Module 2, Lesson 4. The objectives for today are, I can use a centimeter ruler or meter stick to estimate the length of an object. I can write amounts to show the measurement of an object. We'll start with our application problem. Uh, Caleb has 37 more pennies than Richard. Richard has 40 pennies. Joe has 25 pennies. How many pennies does Caleb have? So our question is, how many pennies does Caleb have? So Caleb has 37 more pennies than Richard. Richard has 40 pennies. Here we have Joe has 25 pennies. Well, we don't really need to know how many pennies Joe has because we just need to know how many pe pennies Richard has in order to find out how many pennies Caleb has. So this is just information that we don't need. Okay, so we have the word more. So more is gonna tell us to add a plus sign there. Okay, I am going to start with a tape diagram. I'll we'll start with Richard. He has 40 pennies. R for Richard. And we know that Caleb has 37 more pennies than Richard. <clears throat> so Caleb has the same amount of pennies as Richard and 37 more. There's my 37 more, and here's my same amount as Richard, and this is Caleb. So we need to find out how many pennies Caleb has. So we'll add this together because we have more. Okay, so we can do this vertically. Okay. So we have zero plus seven equals seven, and four plus three equals seven. So we can see that Caleb has 77 pennies. There we go. Okay, we will move on to our problem set. So the directions in the problem set are, measure five things in the classroom with a centimeter ruler, list the five things and their length in centimeters. So you will need your centimeter ruler, which might look something like this. And remember, you have to use the centimeters, the ones that are about a pinky space away. And so it's probably a good thing to measure things that are kind of small. Like maybe you might measure a pair of scissors or maybe you might measure an eraser or you might measure a pencil, okay? Many different things that you could measure, okay? Then, so you'll write the object's name, like if you measure the scissors, you write scissors and then you measure them and put how many centimeters long they are Remember to start on that line where it starts right here, okay? Or if you have a zero, like I have on this other ruler, uh, I have a zero here to start at, okay? So rulers can be very different. Okay, so we have number two. Measure four things in the classroom with a meter stick or meter tape. List the four things and their length in meters. Now, meter sticks, it's like having a little more than three of these regular sized centimeter rulers. This centimeter ruler has about 32 centimeters on there. And a meter stick, is one solid piece of wood or metal 
that has 100 centimeters on there. So it's a little more than three of these. Okay, so you think with your meter stick, you're gonna wanna measure big things, okay? So maybe you might measure the door or the window in your classroom, maybe a table or a rug. Think of big things for meter sticks, okay? And then you need to list five things in your home that you would measure with a meter stick or meter tape, okay? So think of big things, maybe a couch or a bed or a TV, okay? So think of big things at home. And why would you want to measure those five items with a meter stick or meter tape instead of a centimeter ruler? Now think about how many centimeters it might take because centimeters are tiny, like your pinky. And the meters are a hundred centimeters, so they're pretty big. Okay, and then we'll do number four together. Okay, so the distance from the cafeteria to the gym is 14 meters. The distance from the cafeteria to the playground is double that distance. How many times would you need to use a meter stick to measure the distance from the cafeteria to the playground. Okay, well, this sounds like we should draw it out, but first let's figure out our key information. So the distance from the cafeteria to the gym is 14 meters. Okay, I'm gonna draw that out. Cafeteria, I'm gonna shorten cafeteria just to cafe. Okay, and we're gonna go to the gym. And that is 14 meters. The distance from the cafeteria to the playground is double that distance. Okay, double. Double, if you don't know, means twice or two of it, okay? So, how many times would you need to use a meter stick to measure the distance from the cafeteria to the playground? Okay, so we started our cafeteria again. Now it said double, so it's gonna be two of the 14s, right? So we have 14 here and 14 here. So our playground would be about here. I will write play ground. And there we go. Okay, so from the cafeteria to the playground. So we have 14 meters here and 14 meters here because it's double, double 14. Okay. So how many times would you need to use the meter stick to get from the cafeteria to the playground? So we know that we have to use the meter stick 14 times here and 14 times here. So we should add that together, right? So you could do our 14 plus 14. We're just doing it vertically here. And remember we go down four plus four is eight. And one plus one is two. So we have 28 meters. So now we need to finish with our sentence. Okay. You need to use the meter stick 28 times to get from the cafeteria. Let's see. We have 
So if you run out of room, you just write down at the bottom like I am. To get from the cafeteria to the right playground out here. Play around. Period. Okay. So then on our exit ticket. You need to circle cm centimeter or m meter to show which measurement you would use to measure the length of each object. The length of a train. Well, cm, like a pinky size, or m meter. Remember, that's a hundred centimeters. Okay. The length of an envelope. Okay. So an envelope is usually about this big, could be a little longer, like this big, okay, centimeter or meter. The length of a house, centimeter or meter, hmm. Now number two, would it take more meters or more centimeters to measure the length of a playground? Explain your answer. Well. You want to measure the length of a playground. Is it going to take a lot of pinky size centimeters or is it going to take more meters? Okay. So think about the size of a centimeter versus the size of a meter. Okay. So I hope this helped.